A hearing that could get a convicted killer a new trial wraps up today. The prosecutor that sent David Dooley to prison for life was back on the stand. Local 12's Joe Webb says the hearing focused more on sex and lies than murder. Commonwealth's attorney Linda Talley Smith was once again in the unfamiliar position of testifying today. On cross examination, Dooley attorney Deanna Dennison focused again on that surveillance video that shows an unknown man near the crime scene 10 hours before Michelle Mockby's murder. The defense says they never got it. Talley Smith says they did, but that her own detectives never told her about the guy on the tape before the trial. You went in blind. I wouldn't say I went in blind. Well, you didn't know about the guy on the video? No, I did not. But the most important thing is that I don't believe it would have changed a thing. The cross-examination got heated when Dennison pointed out that nobody knows who the guy is, and it could have changed things for the defense by adding a mystery suspect at the scene. He could have slipped in after all the people that had come in early in the morning, he could have slipped in. And you're telling me that could never have happened based upon all the other evidence that you introduced. Assistant Attorney General Shauna Kenser laughed off Dennison and asked if aliens could have landed at Thermo Fisher Scientific. Later in the day, lead detective and Tally Smith's post-trial lover, Bruce McVeigh, was called back to the stand. He refuted Linda Tally Smith's claim that she was never told about the unknown man. For five days, the Dooley and Mockby families have watched a proceeding focused more on sex and deception than the lives and deaths of their loved ones. Dooley's mother expects a new trial. Most definitely, but I don't know who even would testify at this point. If they all lied and, you know, covered things up, what good are they as witnesses? I mean, it's just How? ridiculous. Michelle Mockby's sister does not expect a new trial. We still stand by the prosecution, and we strongly believe that the jury got it right when they convicted David Dooley of killing my sister. All the testimony's over, but it could be at least six weeks before David Dooley finds out if he's going to get a new trial. Judge Schran set an April 27th deadline for attorneys on both sides to file briefs. At that time, he will look at the briefs, consider the testimony, and decide if there's a new trial. In Burlington, Joe Webb, Local 12 News. Other news now.